All right, so we are on the update for the PTS, and one of the most important changes uh, potentially coming for it with uh, update 40 PTS, or sorry, update 40 for the Elder Scrolls Online, is going to be a revamped group finder. Uh, for those of you old heads out there that played the Elder Scrolls Online uh, back in 2014, 2015, and such, you remember that we did have a kind of version of this. We did have a trial group finder and also pvp group finder but they removed it from the game because nobody was using it and also it wasn't working anyway so uh what i have to stress here is the group finder is completely different from the dungeon finder so the dungeon finder is still there it's a queuing system it's a queuing tool however the group finder is not a queue system or tool it's simply a sort of bulletin board much like our uh guild finder in the game so i just kind of want to see and explore my first time doing so uh with you and see what's all about is it going to be good uh how much of an impact will it have at least on pc and console in my opinion just straight away looking at this and thinking about how the different social demographics of eso interact with one another i think this will affect console a lot more i think this will be great for console uh you know I could be, I could, my predictions could be wrong but unfortunately my predictions have always been right for eso but i think for pc it will not have a great effect it might have a negligible effect maybe some people will use it maybe some people won't and there's different reasons for that including the fact that you need to go through the barrier of going getting into voice chat anyway and there's no voice chat on pc unlike console so if people want to do certain content that's hard or difficult um, even with comms, and they want you to, to jump into Discord, I mean, ultimately, you're just kind of going through the same steps twice. So, I don't know. Um, I, I I think a lot of people might enjoy it, but also I do worry that it's going to be a social shitstorm, at least on PC, in the first few weeks, because uh, there when there's people complaining about how hard Overland content is, or how hard the weekly endeavor of doing five public dungeon group events is i don't know how you're gonna see any compatibility compatibility between a big group of players like that and a smaller group of players that want to do a uh, hard hardcore content or a harder end game content even if it's like something like vrg or uh vima hard mode but i think it's a good step i'm not saying this is terrible i think it's a good step because you should not leave it up to a third party, like a content creator or a website, to do group finding or activity finding. So I think this is a good step. It just remains to be seen how it will be used on PC. I'd imagine, um, if, if the API is open for this, that add-on developers could t tinker around with it, um, if if it's not enough. But yeah, let's let's explore. Now that my tirade's over. So we have a dungeon filter, arena filter, trial filter, and this archive filter for you and one other person. PvP, zone, and of course, if you don't think any of those activities befit your uh, activity that you want to look for, you can go with custom. So dungeon, let's create it. So we have a two-player filter, four-player filter, any dungeon. Okay, it's really nice that they added in you know, uh, the dungeon filter for specific dungeons. Let's say Lair Marcel. <laughs> and we can do group title. It looks like there's restrictions here. Cannot be too short. Cannot start with a space. No more than two of the same letter in a row. No adjacent p punctuation characters. So that's, you can't do two commas in a row. Four hyphens, apostrophes, or spaces at most. No invalid characters. Must contain more letters. I have a suspicion they have all these restrictions because potentially certain characters or rep reiteration of characters will probably break the group finder somehow or the display of it ui wise that's my suspicion though uh all right so let's say uh b lom farm group description uh i don't know why you'd be farming but sorry <laughs> let's do n lom okay okay we're we are farming sticker book need okay uh stand play style so there's play style filters we can say yes i don't know what standard means <laughs> is it just like chill you know obviously they wouldn't put something like chill maybe they should have educational 
Okay, so this is when you want to teach people speed. All right, obviously, you know, when you're farming, you want speed. And I really hate, like, this, my one feedback is I really hate the fact that they put in the CP requirement filter. I don't know. I, I just think it's irrelevant. I think CP is almost irrelevant. So I, I don't know. It's, it's just another thing that players will just rip on each other for. Uh, VoIP, meaning voice chat required. And you can also set an invite code. This is a really, this, this, is, this is actually really nice. This is actually really nice. I like this. So that uh, when people are searching for groups and they see yours and you want a specific somebody, um, you, it's like a lobby list, right? It's like a matchmaking, matchmaking thing here. I, I really like that. I do think, though, with the code thing, is it also for people you may want? Maybe you want people who can read. You know, most of players don't read. So maybe you can put something like the password is, I don't know, C983. You know, you just make sure they read. You know, here's my, here's my requirements. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then the passcode is C983. And auto accept requests, you can make, you can do manual or automatic, very nice. Enforce rule requirements. I really like this. I don't know what that icon is, but it's probably, they don't have an icon for that just yet. Um, uh, again, if you, if you're fine with quote unquote fake tanking, this is, this is very nice. I have nothing bad to say about this. You, you can have two healers. <laughs> Three healers. <laughs> I, I don't know, but let's create it. Okay. Okay, so this is... It creates a new uh, category under your group finder. It doesn't seem like you can look for any other groups in the meantime, which is... I don't know how to feel about that, but maybe that's uh, something they couldn't uh, address in time for the PTS. Because I feel like if I'm setting up this group... I'm just kind of waiting and chilling. I kind of want to browse other groups. Maybe there's a different group that's doing the exact same thing as I am, and I should just join them instead. So pretty interesting that it looks like this. I'm kind of curious if there's uh, anyone else on PTS that has a listing open. Probably not. Uh, we'll go through the trial listing. So the trial listing is has different filters in terms of player number from the dungeon. Obviously, we have a list of trials. In the same exact settings we can do. PvP, this is really interesting. PvP has no none of those rule things because obviously it doesn't matter for PvP. And you have two, four players, 12 player filters, Cyrodiil, Imperial City, Battlegrounds, any campaign. I think this is really nice. I think this is far better than going into zone chat to a degree, especially in Cyrodiil. Um and then when you get into Cyril, you can just look it up. This is really nice. I like it. Maybe I think this will actually have a bigger impact on PC than I thought. I, I Again, I don't know why you would enforce rule requirements. This is pretty cool. Okay. Endless archive. Uh, well, again, it doesn't matter. Zone? And then for zone, we don't... What? There's no activity for zone. <laughs> I guess uh, they should probably add something like Sky Shard, Lore Book, Sigic, whatever, Hunting, you know, what guilds do. The zone list is not appearing. I don't know if this is a bug. That's a... That's... Okay, I think it's a bug. Has to be a bug. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious about custom. Oh, it's just... Okay, there's no filters for activity or zone or content, but you can put whatever. And it gives you up to 12 players for PvP and Trials. Uh, I don't know. I, I think this is really good. Overall, just remains to be seen how many people will use it. As opposed to just, you know, pinging in Discord or... Just saying something in Guild Chat. Or just... Again, I'm kind of worried about... Uh, that extra step of any way going, getting into voice chat on PC. And also, I'm just kind of worried about this potential social... social uh, Issues that might arise between completely different groups. It'll be interesting. But at least, you know, they give you the filters, they give you the tools. It's not a dev issue. It's going to be a more of a player race issue when it comes to that. I don't know if I would use this if I was still uh, active within the game. 
as I used to be, but maybe I wouldn't. So a lot of people, I'm in Kraglin right now, or Belkarth, and it's a common city or town for you to advertise like LFGs in. Honestly, what's going to happen, in my opinion, you create the group and then you go to zone chat. And then you just advertise that you created something in the group finder. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Honestly. Pretty interesting system. We'll see how it, we'll see how it does. Let me like what do you guys think? For those of you watching on the live stream. Do PvP groups all have to be the same faction? I would assume so. I would probably venture to guess that this this group finder bases off the listing visibility or availability based on your character's alliance, which they could have easily very done. It's not, I don't, I don't think it's, it would be very hard to link your character's faction to the group finder somehow. And what's, what is interesting is I, you know, I can create it outside of Cyrodo or IC or Battlegrounds, which makes sense because you want to maybe queue together into the line or you want to queue together for Battlegrounds. And of course, I don't, I don't know what it's going to look like once your group forms, but I'm assuming the same thing. And then you have to go through the dungeon, or if you want to use a dungeon finder, you have to go through the battlegrounds queue, or the serial PP queue, or ICP PP queue. It might let three or four people go into different zones to advertise the fill, and then you don't even have to. To, you don't need to have to have crown to get people to join. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Would you guys use this? Next patch? 